Smooth snap gets to a rebound, tucks it in. What a play, Elias Pedersen. This absolute filth was Elias Pedersen. Silky smooth from below the goal line, takes it back and tucks it in. This, in what wound up being a four-point night for Pedersen, would end up being the game-winning goal in a 6-3 win over the Rangers. Just two nights prior to that, in New Jersey, after getting it started just 41 seconds into the second, it was early in the third, scoring the fifth of that game, his second of the night, making it look easy to make it a 5-2 game. This wound up being the game-winning goal of that game. And finally, just this past Tuesday, another pretty one, scoring to make it a 3-0 game at this point against the Islanders. This, and you probably guessed it by now, wound up being the game-winning goal in a 5-2 win. And so, tonight, as the Canucks came into Pittsburgh on a three-game winning streak, the question was, could Elias Pettersson continue his streak? In a game with huge goals, fantastic saves, and a little heat, this was a great game. So, let's get into it. Not six minutes in, Pettersson cutting back, holds up to the front, and they score. Watch this again. A fantastic little move from Pedersen here. Head up, just waiting for Besser, who's driving to the net and back door. They open the scoring for the 28th time of the season. Just seconds later, and Crosby swatting at the puck would get called for tripping, putting the Canucks on the power play, and sure enough, Pedersen to Miller shoots, and boom. Not a minute after the first one, it's Besser again, and the lotto line had six points in six minutes. Now, just a bit noteworthy here, Zadorov with a big hit on Smith, taking a closer look here, lays a big one, and as he went to the bench, he was not feeling good and would not return to the game. Then, with four to go, Harkins to Pedersen from way back, and they score. And it might shock you, but this one was not Elias, but instead Marcus Pedersen with his first of the year, bodies in front, and it's a one-goal game. But it's not like Elias was done. Just a minute later, Hronik shoots, and surprise, surprise. Prize, it's Elias Pettersson in front with his 21st of the season and his third point of the period, making it a 3-1 game late in the opening frame. And with that, a busy first would come to an end, and so we'll head over to the second, where after three goals on nine shots, the Penguins with a goalie change as Jari in between the pipes to start the middle frame. And while the Canucks absolutely did not slow down, they definitely tested Jari heavily. He stood tall, keeping the Penguins in it with some fantastic stops early. Early. And so, sure enough, going the other way, Penguins break out, Crosby keeps it, and scores. All the time and space in the world, he beats Demko glove side and continues to put the team on his back, making it a one-goal game. Now, with that, Crosby also tied Mike Bossy, one of the greatest goal scorers of all time, for 22nd all-time in goals. Kind of wild. But immediately, the Canucks off the rush, Myers, he shoots, and it's stopped by Jari, flashing the leather with his 10th stop in nine minutes and then with five to go Hughes would put it over the glass look at his face he knows immediately but with that said the pens wouldn't convert anyway and so ultimately after 40 minutes came and went this was a one goal game and that gets us over to the third where five minutes in face off in the Canucks zone and JT Miller the Pittsburgh native gives Sid a shot to the back getting called for roughing and Crosby was not happy about it as the two would share some pleasantries and this this kind of set the tone for the rest of the game. While the Penguins again wouldn't capitalize, the physicality certainly picked up. And after the penalty, the two continued to chat. This again went on for some time, and it wasn't long after, Miller again, this time with Latang as they go down, no penalty at center ice, but Miller causing all kinds of mayhem, getting under the Penguins' skin, Crosby running Hughes, and eventually Eller retaliating takes a bad cross-checking penalty on Garland, and so it would be the Canucks to the power play. And this time, it was the Canucks who wouldn't convert, as Jari was chopping down trees in front of his net. But with time taken away, the desperate Penguins pushing Crosby in front to the backhand, and what a stop from Demko, as Sid couldn't elevate it just an unbelievable save here and ultimately it would get us to the dying seconds net empty Carlson shoots it and they score who else but Sidney Crosby in front gets it done again as he just continues to refuse to let this team die and with it push this game to OT and I love this kid look at the passion and so with that we went to overtime and right off the bat it's Miller and Jari with another nice stop then another one on Myers on the other side it was down 
Demko shutting down Gensel. Then we had a three-on-one. It gets broken up, and the Pens leaving Pedersen all alone. He comes down, and it's in. He scores, squeaking this one past Jari, five hole and in, and he does it again. His fourth consecutive game-winning goal on the road in what was another four-point night, and the Canucks take it four to three. Now, Pedersen, during these four games, has seven goals and 12 points just ridiculous. Now, as a Pens fan, I can say this one hurt, but truthfully, I'm happy to even come out of it with a point because boy, this Canucks team just continues to steamroll. But yeah, that's about it for this one. Thank you guys as always for watching. I appreciate it very much and I will see you in the next one.